So I was looking at an alternative other than torquing up the uh, torsion bars. First, I was going to put these energy suspension jobs in, but I didn't like the quality of the bump stops. Uh, I'm looking at these Timbrons. Timbrons. They're supposed to support up, I think, like 14,000 pounds, the, bu the Timbron bump stops. <clears throat> this is what they look like. So, we're going to put them on put them together, let you know how it makes out. Let's get some measurements. So we have about 31 and 3 quarters with the uh, plow down. So the first thing I did was lift it up and secure, securely place it on jack stands. I'm going to zip off the tire on the 98 Tahoe. This one's a uh, 22 millimeter. Alright, so we're going to take a look at the old bump stop. Bring it in closer. Right there. So right here is where the bump stop's supposed to be. As you can see, there's nothing left. So anything we put on it will be an improvement. All right. So what I did was I blew the dust out with an air hose right in there and sprayed it with some PV blaster. Now we're gonna break it free with a 15 millimeter socket. actually coming out pretty easy. So it came out easy as that. So we're getting installed getting ready to install this bracket right here like so. It's marked left. You got two different bolt hole sizes right here. You got this bolt which is a smaller size and this bolt which is the larger size so So we got that one started. Put our lock nut on, but we won't tighten it down until we get the other one set. Just to hold it in place. Okay, so we got that. So we got a flathead screwdriver. Some kind of screwdriver. Just to maneuver this washer in place to hold it in place. So we get the bolt up through. We got it lined up. Again, we're gonna go up underneath, we're gonna put the washer on. Move our We're not in our shim. Yep. 
we put our nut on. So now we fasten these down. The smaller size side is going to be a 9 16 and the other side, the larger side is going to be a 5 8 I'm going to fasten these down and I'll show you the rest. Alright, next we put th this on. So this goes like so. Get your spacer and this goes up through here. Make sure you have your washer on here, a lock washer. Right in like so. Your spacer on. Make sure you get this lined up just right. So after you got everything lined up here, I got a 17 millimeter, Just run it tight. Show you the clearance. And then we'll show you after we lower the truck and we'll get you the measurements. Do the same for the other side. Go ahead. Alright, so the moment of truth. With the plow up. We are at 32 and 5 eighths with the plow up. The plow up. And we're at 33. So, would I recommend these? Yes. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to comment below. Oh, and you have to switch the bottom shock bolt around because the length of it, when you put a load on it, it will rub against the rubber, the rubber uh, bump stop. So, be sure to replace that or switch it around. Thanks for watching. Please comment below. Like, share, and subscribe.